Hello, Planet Mashers, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we will be talking about washi tape. I have tons in my collection, and I'm pretty sure if you bought one, you ended up with lots of washi tape as well. So today, let's talk about actually using washi tape in your bullet journal, and I'll share with you my best ideas. And if you're new here, my name is Masha, and I'm creating videos on bullet journaling, doodling, creativity. So be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you always know when I release a new video. Well, let's get to it. Okay, so I have my bullet journal here, I have tons of washi tape, and well, let's see how you can use this in your journals. And of course, all the supplies I'm using will be linked in the description in case you want to check them out. We are going to start with two simple examples on how to use washi tape in your weeklies. So first, you can actually use your washi tape as headers. So if you have washi tapes like this, which has days of the week on it, you can actually use these pieces of washi tape as headers for your weekly. So let's set up this weekly spread. And just like that, you get a very simply weekly setup that took just a few minutes. So for our next weekly, I will be using washi tape as a divider. If you have some thinner washi tapes, you can absolutely use them to divide your days or to divide different areas in any of your other bullet journal pages. Well, today we're doing a weekly, so let me show you. And there you go. Here's a very simple weekly, which was very easy to set up because I needed to draw no lines whatsoever. Let me show you a few more examples on how I used washi tape as dividers in my bullet journal. For example, on one of my weeklies in December, I used washi tape to divide areas for my to-do list and my notes. Okay, so another way I really love using washi tape is obviously to decorate my bullet journal pages. I will show you how I use it in my day-to-day -day planning as well, but for now I'm going to create a little quote page and simply decorate it a little bit with some washi tape.
It's kind of funny that I misspelled the word perfection. When I was drawing the letters, um, I drew an extra E here for some reason. But I feel like it works very well for the quote altogether. So that would be how I would decorate a quote page, but let me give you a few examples on how I use washi tape for decorating my everyday bullet journal. So for example, this is my key page and so I added some washi tape here. This is my word of the year and again I have some washi tapes. For example, this is my monthly log and you can see I had some empty space here. So I added washi, some more washi here. It's kind of a great decoration, but also a little bit of a filler to just fill out empty spaces and just make a page a little bit more interesting. Because these two pages, for example, before you write things in them, they kind of look really empty, but with washi tapes, I just felt like it would be a little bit more interesting. And, you know, I decorate my weekly pages with washi tape as well. Okay, now let's try another thing. And this is also going to be a weekly spread. What you can do is create little banners out of your uh, washi tape. So for example, let's take this one. Let me divide first the weekly and then I'll show you how to do the banners. For this you might need scissors. I have these little ones. So what you do is you first cut a piece of washi tape. And then you cut here a little flag. And just like that, this is kind of a fun decoration. So let's do it a few more times. Another thing you can do is use a darker type of washi tape and use these little flags to write a date. For example, I have this black one and well, we can give it a try with that. So here are the two different styles you can use with this flag idea. Another way you can use washi tape in your journal is to highlight important pages. For example, this is my current journal and I'm not sure if the camera catches it, but there is an obvious orange page here. This is something I can easily find and on one side this is my future log. On the other side, it's my grid guide. So these are the two pages I have to look back the most. And because I added washi tape at the border like this, this page really stands out so I can easily find it at any time. It's pretty easy to do that as well. And let's try to do it on one of my January pages. 
So what you need to do is first take a washi tape and I really prefer a thinner one, that way it won't occupy that much space on the border. So I'll use this yellow one because it's in color with a theme. So you kind of measure for it to be more or less as long as the page border. You stick half of it, around half of it to the page. And then you stick another half to the other side of the page. And just like that, here's the yellow stripe and I can always easily open this page. Let's take a look at some other ways and we'll need to use another journal for that. So this is my memory journal and I'll be creating a little memory page. And the trick I want to show you is how to use washi tapes to create frames for your pictures in case you add some to your bullet journal day-to-day -day planning or maybe to your memory pages. As you can see I have a very easy and very fun frame here and here is the other way you can use your washi tape by creating borders on your bullet journal pages so I'm going to add a washi tape here and this is going to be kind of uniting element and a border and it's actually a fun way if you want to create like a theme in your bullet journal you can just create the same border on all the pages and well that's an easy way to unify the design. Okay, going back to the previous journal for more ways to use washi tape. So, when you're new to bullet journaling, you probably use your key a lot. So here's a little trick to make it easier to see all your signifiers using some washi tape. So I cut out this piece of paper and these are all the signifiers I want to use and I also added here color coding as an example. So what you can do is open the first page and attach this key to your journal with some washi tape. So you can just stick it with an adhesive but as you go, you might want to change some of signifiers. You might want to use different color coding. So it's kind of better, I think, to use washi tape because that's something you can unstick and change and then stick again. Just like that, it looks pretty. You can flop it in and you don't see it but then if you open your page and you need to plan you can easily just do that and keep on planning conveniently knowing all your signifiers another fun way to use washi tape would be to add an envelope to your bullet journal so that could be a fun way for extra storage for your stickers, maybe to put your journaling cards, um, or I don't know, maybe keep something important in your memory journal, like 
letters or some notes or ticket stamps, something like that. And you can easily add it to your journal with just some washi tape. We're going to use our neutral black and white washi here. And just like that, very convenient little storage to keep your important moments. So another fun way to use washi tape would be to create a flop in your journal. So let me show you how we can do that. You can use flops to just add some extra space to your page. Um, I think they look pretty cool if you use like a monthly page and the flop has maybe the name of the month and then like a little habit tracker. Here I'm just going to show you how to create one and well you can use your creativity and use it any way you like. So for this I'm going to be using a notepad to get some paper to create the flop. If you don't have you can just get one of the pages from the end of your journal. So you can cut the flop and make it shorter or you can use the entire page. It's kind of up to you. Um, I think I'm going to cut a little bit just to make it more convenient to use. So I cut it but the border is very not straight so I think I'm gonna go grab my paper cutter and cut a little bit more so it's more of a straight line. Okay so first we will be adding some washi tape on the side and I'm gonna go with something I think I'm gonna go with this one because it's pretty neutral and I think it would go with any style or theme you are going to create. So you add washi tape to the full length and you add just half of the width, not the entire one. So after that you kind of bend it and align Align the edges and just press so washi tape sticks. And the next step is just to cut out these corners so they align with your page. And just like that, you have a flop. And here it's a pretty washi tape. You can use this for monthly setup, so you can add your goals or your habit tracker. You can use it for a weekly setup as well. So you have an extra area for like your notes or something like that. So yeah, this is pretty useful and a fun hack to try in your bullet journal. Another way to use washi tape in your bullet journal is to create Dutch doors. Dutch door is a kind of a weekly or Pretty much you can do it with any type of spread. But the main idea is that you don't want it to be just the two pages, you need more space. So you actually take a middle page and you cut it. So you can cut it vertically and you have this little flop in the middle. You can cut it horizontally and then you have like a larger flop. It's up to you. And what you can do with washi tape is to first decorate it so maybe if you don't cut it perfectly you can use washi tape at the border to help you kind of hide the imperfections and if you're cutting pages like this that means you'll have to cut very close to the binding so you can use washi tape to kind of stick it here as a decoration but also as a way to secure your binding. 
Let me show you how to do the horizontal dutch door and how we can secure the binding. So that's why I like using these little scissors because they really allow you to go very, very close to the binding. So there isn't a lot of paper left here. So basically what you can do with washi tape is to add some here to hold the binding and we can also add some here to make it kind of like a cohesive thing. So that's basically a Dutch door weekly and then you can use this space however you want. You can use this for meal planning and have a little to-do list here or have like a habit tracker, a to-do list and maybe track your weather, whatever you need. You have now tons of extra space and if you want to actually see Sunday as well, it's an option to just cut the page here too so that way you will always be able to see all seven days and what's happening we're going to use a notepad for two more ways to use washi tape first of all you can actually use washi tape to fix your mistakes and let me show you how we can do that so let's say you misspell the word like a header right right so you said m-u-n instead of m-o-n meaning monday so this is how you can fix it what you gotta do is take some dark washi tape i really recommend a dark monotone one because you will be writing the same header on top and dark washi tape is much better at covering up the text behind it so take a piece of washi and cover your mistake with that and on top you can use an acrylograph pen or any kind of metallic pens or sakura jelly rolls because they write very well on the dark i'm using a stabilo metallic pen and you just write the correct header i actually like this style a lot i usually use simply white on top of black i like it so much that i often kind of do it on purpose and the final tip on how to use washi tape is to create hollowed out lettering. Uh, let me give you an example. So first you stick some washi tape and this is gonna be the hollowed out part of your lettering. Then you letter a um, word on top of it. We're gonna say Monday. I'll explain next step when we finish this one. Just be sure that uh, the letters are a lot over the washi tape, so you can actually read it even without the middle part. Okay, and then we take off the washi tape and you get this new type of hollowed out lettering and you can for example use cursive here and write date 
Of course, you can customize it however you want, use the colors, create a little banner maybe here. Let's try to do a banner just to kind of make it look a little bit more interesting. So you can customize it like this. You can add color. It's all up to you, but here's a basic concept. And I hope you like this idea. Let me know in the comments which one of these you're going to be using. And I'll see you in the next video. Keep bullet journaling and don't be a blob. Bye!